The Hansa is actually part of my encirclement of the Ottomans. <laughs> the Hansa? He's useful, he gives me money. I think the Hansa have really flourished once they realized that they weren't gonna possibly survive uh, while fighting the Netherlands. Well, I'm all for a coalition to destroy the Hansa adding Republic or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, 250,000, but I don't even want to know how many armies he's up against. France has 300,000 all by themselves. The Netherlands, in the meantime, have got more than 165. They're going to be swamped by over more than three quarters of a million troops. That's not even counting Russia. Russia and themselves have more than 405,000 troops which are descending upon Austria as we speak. There are a million troops on the map raging towards the Austrian home front. And they are getting it bad. So yeah, there won't be any uh, Germany created today. Also, uh, I'm, af I'm afraid that the Austrian, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be problematic. Uh, well, I guess I know who's gonna be on the couch next. <laughs> I really hope it's gonna be the Austrians because my God, they're on some serious pro Oh, we have a massive, uh, we've got a massive fight going on here. 160,000 troops. It's they are in the uh, they are in the yeah the Austrians are in a massive de deficit. They got a decent leader plus five, three two three one, uh, maneuver five actually from the Russians as they're moving in. But the Austrians are slowly but steadily getting crushed here. In the forests of Tarnovo, it's not looking good for Austria. A crushing defeat for the Austrians as they have almost nothing remaining after that. Austria della Est. Sacrifice is on the ass end of that one. Meanwhile, it looks like there's not many wars going on in the rest of the world. England or Great Britain being ransacked by the Spanish as the Coalition of the Willing continues to spam themselves across the territory here of uh, the world. And let's take a look who's actually taking the lead here in score. Uh, that's actually not the right window. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Let's see which one it was again. Country index. Yeah. It looks like uh, so far income. Russia getting 439 a month. Ace, they've got over 39,000 gold. 35, 39,000 gold in the bank. Russia, France, and Netherlands, the, tri the, the triple coalition are pretty much rampaging across the map. And somebody in the chat is actually wondering, can the Netherlands form the Netherlands? I don't think they can. I don't think they have the correct culture. Unless they've actually managed to get that. Or they got Hanoverian as one of their one of their cultures but it doesn't look like they're able to uh no they won't be able to form anything there but uh austria oh look at this ukrainian ukrainian army trying to ransack this dutch army and they're on full retreat and they're shattered they'll be going home back to alna altmar but i doubt it's going to be enough here today as Austria will be on the losing end here today already. And we're not even 30 minutes into the game. As Austria is really getting the short end of the stick today. Venice has jumped in as well. Everybody has jumped in today. As all of these are fighting Austria right now. Ming, Oriad, Hindustan, they don't really care. It's pretty much everybody versus them over here. France, Bohemia, Spain, the Hansa, Tripoli. It's it's brutal. It's brutal. And Russia in a separate war with Austria together with Morocco and Venice. That's a coalition. I actually have a coalition map mode. I think I do. That's region map mode. There we go. Yeah. That's a massive coalition against Austria right here. And these are all user coalitions as well. So these are all actual players that are in our developer offices here in Stockholm. And 
and, uh, and they are all very, very much aware and whole of this works. In the meantime, let's take a look at the world in itself. The Reformation has spread. Protestants are everywhere. Uh, Catholicism is not really, not really anywhere, really, aside from all of the classic uh, areas. There's a Catholicism here in Austria, a Protestant in most of Europe, as well as all through the Baltic, and oh, actually Catholic North America. So, actually, makes mm, that doesn't make all that much sense, considering... All right, England, Great Britain was uh, actually uh, Catholic, so that was not that good. You got uh, Sunni and Hindu all over the place. Orthodox, of course, Russia, Sunni, uh, Malaya, and all that. So all of that was pretty much to be expected. The HRE is non-existent. It has all been but annihilated, eliminated even. But the political map mode looks, uh, looks different to say the least. Austria is on its last legs. Let's take a look here at uh, you know, 24 in the uh, assault on Ratibor. And they're going to be able to take chunks out of them. Maybe no, they're going to be too big to vassalize because Austria is quite significantly, quite significant here. But uh, France, let's take a look at what they have actually gone for: economic ideas, aristocratic. Aristocracy, quantity and offen quantity, offensive and defensive. The French are ever so slightly on the strong side, with an army tradition of 53, land morale of 9.1, and military tactics of 30 of 3.0. That's definitely gonna hurt. Very, very, very strong. Very, very strong indeed. Let's take a look at the world. Uh, in Conquest of Paradise, uh, we're adding a whole bunch of new things here in Europa Universalis. Uh, so obviously, we have the colonials, uh, colonial areas which have, which have been added to the game for this particular uh, for this particular expansion. I'm quickly going to need to look through colonial regions. So we added these new colonial regions towards the game. So we've got colonial Canada, colonial California, Louisiana, etc., etc. So basically what happens is, is that as soon as you create a colony in one of these areas and you create enough colonies that are actually connected to one another, basically what happens is um, they basically become a nation in themselves. For instance, the 13 colonies, they become like a miniature vassal nation. Same with English Mexico, New Spain, and these are all based on colonial map mode, uh, colonial regions. And that's only in the Americas. So if we quickly go back here to the colonial map mode. It only happens for like for these areas. So when we look at like Asia, that's no longer it's not really applicable. So there's Mexico, Colombia, Guinea, uh, Brazil, La Plata, etc., etc. So basically, the classic classic areas are represented here, and that's a big chunk of the upcoming expansion, which is on the uh, released on the 14th of January, of course. But uh, we'll talk about more about that very shortly. As uh, as right now, all the developers probably sitting together, you know, let's, uh, let's see what we can get. Let's see how we can carve up things. Netherlands are just like, you know what? I like, uh, I like a bit of castle here, maybe some Hesse, maybe some Nassau. Actually, I'm quickly looking over. He has, he has the cult, the, what's his main culture here? So he has Hanoverian. It's from the Germanic group. I don't think he can form... Uh, no, why would he, would he actually? Why would you want to be anything else than the Netherlands? As it is... The uh, Netherlands is completely and utterly powerful. With their ideas, their naval ideas are just absolutely disgustingly strong. I think their base bonus is... Let's see, what is their... Yeah, here. They got a 50% naval uh, force limits modifier, which is ridiculous. Plus a 10 minutes uh, shipbuilding time, which is one of the strongest... Uh, one of the strongest navies in the game together with uh, Great Britain, which is no longer really an issue, considering they have been crushed by the coalition here of the French and the Netherlands. And they're taking the lead. No, actually, they're not taking the lead. Um, let's see what the rank is in the world, because uh, we do have a thing going on within the studio based on what your rank is. 
I quickly need to look here what the rank button actually is. Uh, where is it again? Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get to that shortly. But, uh, you yeah, know, basically, the best nations in the world will get themselves awards. We actually have, like, little prizes to give away here to the winners of uh, any any sort of any sort of uh, uh, you know, of this particular competition we have a top three even and they get like a little trophy to put on their desk to gloat over on their uh, their co-workers and uh, we'll continue on that tradition into the next cycle if this actually hits off if people like this particular uh, particular session this particular streaming session and uh, maybe we'll continue on with this. But in the meantime, Austria being carved up. We're actually moving here on speed three as well, and that won't change. Although, yeah, Naples, who is one of the allies of uh, of Great Britain, being destroyed actually by thirteen colony peasants. Peasant uprising. That's not very useful. New Sweden and Finland. Hmm. That's always a good one. Still, the party continues. As one of those few places in the world that has not been discovered yet is uh, Funj. All the rest of the map has pretty much been, uh, pretty much been taken. And there's obviously uh, the Spanish colonies here, and the only place in the world that is still open for colonization is some of the new areas in the map, which is pretty much this. The Conquest of Paradise adds a whole chunk of North America for you to colonize. Uh, I believe in a previous stream we referred to it as a sort of Oregon Trail, so to speak, which uh, can be done uh, around here. So there's the Dakotas and all of that, and uh, pretty much anything between uh, Alberta and uh, British Columbia all the way down here. I believe, did they actually add the lake? I used to live here. I used to live uh, right around here. Actually, didn't add the lake. I'm gonna have to talk to it. Uh, so they got the Fraser River. Yeah, that's the Fraser. I th no, it's not the Fraser. I can't remember. Anyway, um, I used to live here. That's basically the gist of it. In the meantime, let's see uh, the wars continue. The Swedish conquest of Niagara. Uh, the Ingl uh, Naples on the uh, on the defensive. The Netherlands still. Fighting wars with as many people as they can. Bohemia is just chilling around, not really doing anything. Ukraine is just like, yo, nobody actually, we were going to peace out very early on. <laughs> and it looks like that's exactly what they did. <laughs> no, it actually are allied in a war, but it doesn't look like anything has been taken for some reason. But uh, Austria is uh, on the verge of being completely carved up. And still, the world is a very different place. For instance, Norway no, no longer exists. It is all the Denmark. Sweden as well. There's actually, there are 12. Right now, we actually have... Uh, Forza in second place with 9,200. Who's first? Is it Spain? No. It is Venice? No. Is it Ming? Don't tell me it's Ming. No, they're 10th. Uh, Morocco is fifth. France is first. Of course. Who else would be? With 9,979 points on the board, the French take the lead. And originally, Great Britain was actually ahead of the pack, but he's now in fourth, and they're never going to be able to pick up here. They're a firm 3,000 points behind the French. There is just no way in hell they're going to be able to uh, to, to actually come back. And that is something, uh, yeah, they want to keep in mind. But the war continues. Uh, let's see here. Najad, for some bizarre reason, has actually done pretty well for itself. 
Nobody's playing as uh, as the as Najat itself. Uh, it looks like uh, Mamelux have been pretty much been purged, so they're not really part of the game anymore. And they were actually played by one of the uh, starter players at the start of the game, but as you can see, we have started in 7057. So this you're mainly seeing the late game here. There we go. The war has finished. The Netherlands has taken a massive chunk here, and uh, that is. The hands, uh, they do what they're told, but in hindsight, looking at what we're discussing now, I should have beaten them 200 years ago. But, well, so long as they stay in the corner, I'm fine with them.